15. We're of course getting into round robin pools for starts. Uh, it is a beautiful day here in Bothell, Washington. I'm excited to watch Lone versus Lefty Logic here to start. We have Lone's Pikachu, who I know is pretty much his primary main, versus uh, Lefty Logic's Krom, which I think is actually his solo main for the most part. But man, she's gonna get back her chain super hard here off the first stock. Lone trying to call out the jump there with the thunder, but Lefty Logic makes it back by going low. Uh, which is very respectful. I mean, kind of a 50-50 situation for Krom out the gate because uh, often like to recover high as to mix up, uh, but at the same time, uh, low can be extremely dangerous. Uh, but a very strong start for uh, Lone so far. Uh, really just needs to reset neutral and uh, continue to bait and try to get uh, Lefty Logic off stage. But at the same time, um, the ability to use the fish dunk like a, uh, as a sword um, that Krom has here is an advantage against Pikachu players, especially because Pikachu likes to fade in and out with those really strong aerials. Uh, good tech taste there with the side B for Lefty off of the neutral tech. Uh, ledge trap situation. Pika usually gets off ledge for free though, just has so many options. Uh, just, he just even having the option of quick attack at all times is absolutely insane. It allows you to get away with some so many other things as well. Alright, but still one stock apiece. We're about a minute and a half in. Uh, I feel like it's, it, based on the pace of this game, an advantage with the stock could be the kind of defining factor uh, for this first game, whether or not uh, one of the players would kind of be able to camp the other out with the pace of this first stock already going. And yeah, the first stock finally being taken almost two minutes into this first match. Uh, but Pikachu, obviously not the lightest or er, heaviest character, so it definitely could die to one of Krom's stronger hits like a back air or forward tilt at ledge for sure. But uh, Sloane gets to slow it down, and Pikachu in the advantage like this, forcing the opponent in, is just a terrifying thing to have to manage. Alright, but that first stock finally being taken. A little bit extra credit, but more so uh, around the, the capacity of Krom just needing one combo or one up B to pretty much even it up there, that up special just does so much damage. Alright, but the Spore Smash almost contesting Lefty Logic coming up from ledge like that. But, oh, just missed times it barely that time too. And Subwave, how's it going? Sad that you weren't able to make it here. Uh, but excited nonetheless. We have a really exciting... Uh, roster of players here for Waking Cake 18 and 18.5 this evening. Uh, I'm, just, I'm really excited to have a good day with a lot of homies, to be, to be honest. Alright, Porter drag down. Really feeling like such an even game still. Dash attacks coming out from Lone here, trying to see the stock out very soon, obviously. Uh, Pikachu has some pretty telegraphed kill options when it comes to on-stage situ on situation. You have the Nair drag down to up smash and, uh, or, uh, or dash attack for the most part, right? But uh, obviously off-stage, the edge guarding Pikachu can do is absolutely insane. But Lefty Logic doing a really good job of holding center stage, trying to avoid uh, getting sent off-stage. But like I was saying before, Lone and that dash attack, I mean... That's kind of the saving grace for high percent situations for Pikachu. You just need one kind of whiff punish there. Alright, if Lone can get oh, one combo started up, uh, definitely could have ran away with more advantage, but I mean, the pace of this still just running so even. And I will say, contextually, the, for some reason, Waking Cake, the, the first bracket, uh, game of the day on stream, uh, always ends up being like best of five. I don't know, I, I think last week was the first game that wasn't best of five uh, in like a few like a few weeks uh, it just always happens all right oh force smash lingering just enough that time and oh missing the back air just slightly force smash once again hitting though off the back air and that should seal it out so game one going to lone Start 
All right, so coming into game two here. On Lefty Logic's counter pick, we are going to Smashville, I believe. Yeah, so obviously a lot less space to work with. I mean, Lone's gonna have to be in Lefty Logic's face a lot more often, which can be pretty intimidating because combos that Krom has honestly are ju just as strong as uh, Pikachu's. But oh man, had the <laughs> the potential to start the ESAM combo of like the double back air, double up air, uh, DIA and Thunder, but uh, not able to get it there. Ooh, and okay, I'd be not gonna pull him off stage to get that weird spike animation. But. Uh, here we are again. I mean, I'm excited for the pace to be maybe even just more explosive on this small stage, but oh yeah, Force Master catching once again and off stage forward air. Yeah, wow, that's gonna be a very early stock for Lone here. Uh, the, the downside, obviously, to this stage is that it's a small stage, you're gonna get sent off stage a lot more often. And uh, Pikachu obviously has such a strong edge guarding game, and one of Krom's biggest weaknesses is getting back to that ledge or getting off the corner as well. But a good up air nair drag down there for Lone. Not going to extend even further, unfortunately, but I mean, still really good startup damage on the second stock to run away with advantage. Oh, the last hit of that side special not hitting. Yeah, both players kind of going back to with punishing. It seems like more so they're focused around safely spacing their options rather than like particularly reading their opponent. I mean, this is just the second game of the day for Waking Cake 18, so. I'm sure they're warming up when it comes to adjusting to opponents and more so just like getting their reps in with particular moves and spacing their aerials correctly. Uh, but so far, so good. I mean, things are looking solid. It seems like it's more so with punishes from uh, different options. Like we just saw Lefty Logic jabbing on the ground there. Lone avoided it by jumping over, whereas to jab on leads is extremely intimidating and we only have a few options that can contest it. So um, more so, kind of again, just using safe moves. In Particularly, or like very option select situations. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Yeah, Lefty Logic doesn't have a jump here, and yeah, Force Smash would have still uh, eaten that stock. And uh, again, I mean, I don't know the tier list for Krom, but I'm assuming that Pikachu is probably one of the highest on there uh, as a bad matchup. And uh, this Nair Chain was a easy, or very swift 40% there for Lone. Uh, definitely seems to be quite warmed up with these Nair combos. Uh, not going to get the extension there, unfortunately, but... Oh, I like the Thunder attempt. Very reminiscent of Pichu. And, yeah, once again, it's not, not a check chase that situation, but uh, just catching Lone's defensive options after the down tilt and catching it with a side B. I was talking a little bit with Lefty before about how uh, he's been trying to use side special in more uh, grounded option situations because it just... There's so many moves, right, uh, in that side special, and so if your opponent tries to roll away or rolls in, they can get caught. If they spot dodge as well, uh, they can get caught. So it really it covers quite a few options. Uh, but back throw, getting sent so deep off stage here. The Thunder going to connect. And, oh, yeah, Lone waited for the air dodge there. He's kind of reeling his head back, uh, knowing that he had the punish. But, I mean, still very much a strong advantage in this game. Only needs to seal out maybe one or two. Or just really, like, one strong hit. Oh, yeah, even the sour spot down air there is going to seal out that game. But we are getting a character swap for Lone. We're just trying to switch up and warm up another character as well that he's hoping to use in bracket. But we're going to get a Young Link. Uh, Young Link, in theory, like frame data wise, options wise, absolutely insane character. But I feel like, for the most part, the meta of Young Link right now is pretty stagnant. Uh, it seems like all of the top Young Links that play, which I don't even see that many anymore, um, they all kind of like play very similar ways. So I'm looking for like an innovator when it comes to this character because. The frame data is insane, the trapping is insane, uh, and definitely has the potential to be like a very, very high tier character. Uh, it just comes down to the, obviously, the recovery is not the greatest, but at the same time, um, you can make it back just just fine. I mean, you're, you're playing against Krom, right? Like, Krom has a terrible recovery, and that's pretty decent in some majors. We have some good representatives for Krom as well. Alright, but excited to see how Lone's um, young Link here has progressed. 
Lefty just kind of having a tough time tracking Lone in general, it seems. Oh, wow. Still going to make it back. That was a deep recovery. It seems to be very good vertical for that up special. Yeah, I think so. uh, just the pace that Lone's been playing, Lefty is a very reactionary player, so it seems like for the most part just hasn't been able to react to and successfully punish the actually a board smash. Oh, what? That move is crazy, Lil Lag. What in the world? All right, Bomb not going to contest the up special there. Maybe just a little bit of a mess on the accuracy. And, all right, coming back to stage. Has Bomb in hand and down air. You can see that first one out. Just kind of a, ma uh, a matchup mix up for the most part. I mean, you don't expect too many characters to just drop on you with a down air. And uh, the down air that Link has, or Young Link has, is insanely strong and a very good kill option. You even see like arrow or bomb to down air sometimes as a kill confirm. Uh, but a low offstage back air for Lefty is going to seal out that first stock and even things up pretty quickly. I mean, this, yeah, that's going to be even damage. Jeez, that move. Just eats you up. So, uh, for the most part, I mean, against both of these characters, you can't do anything off, like unsafe on shield. Getting the two hits ooh, of down air into the two hits and there too, the frame coverage. Okay, no arrows are going to connect, but ah, just a first hit of forward smash that time. Just caught him a little bit too high. And I think something's still looking pretty good for Lone, but I mean, the explosion of, of Krom could definitely. He could run it with a stock advantage too. Goes a little bit too deep on that down air, unfortunately. I mean, if it had landed, uh, Lone was coming back just fine. Uh, but at the same time, Le Lefty able to run away with some advantage now here in this third game. And see what he can do with it. Um, push out a shield, like I was talking about before. Such a big punish for doing un something unsafe on shield against either of these characters. Now yeah, it goes for another one. Oh! Gonna get hit by the landing hitbox. It seems a, it seems a little bit wider than you'd expect. Yeah, forward smash there. Yeah, Lone just held down a little bit too long on the social. Didn't link to the ledge. Or maybe didn't even need to. Just going for the mix up, but and it sounds like Lone's going back to Pikachu. Got some reps in with the. Young Link, but not hoping to drop any more games, it looks like. And alright, going into game four now. <laughs> We have to put any pressure on the players. I was mentioning the the game five kind of like curse that we have at Waking Cake. So uh, honestly, based on the history uh, of just like how often we have game fives for the first uh, set on stream, I wouldn't be surprised if Lucky ended up taking this game. This is an insanely good stage for a Roy Crom. But at the same time, uh, the close horizontal blast zone. Oh no! Uh, the close horizontal blast zones, uh, obviously create some opportunities to get some really good edge guarding too with Pikachu so uh, advantages for both characters on the stage for sure uh, but obviously a very unfortunate SD there for Lone uh, had won the two games prior with Pikachu very commandingly so definitely could make a comeback off of that unfortunate SD but uh, good tech in there from Lucky Logic and that's gonna be a lot of damage once again with that up special All right, well, back throw is going to send off. And here we go for the edge guard. Lefty Lock is recovering so high and mess up on the recovery there from Lone, unfortunately. Uh, Let's shopping situation. This is Lefty's strong suit for sure. And But again, like Pikachu getting off ledge just seems to be so free. Just so many options. But yeah, side special going to take it off the side there. And things looking really good for that game five situation. All right, finally getting that first stock off. Dash dancing, maybe to get some sauce <laughs> build up here. I uh, just gotta regain that confidence as we try to ooh, seal it out. But man, Lefty again, such a good spot to seal it out. Krom having you at 92%. That Pikachu weights, especially with the horizontal blast ones we have here, could be game very soon. Oh, the high recovery that time gets a grab. That seemed like crazy distance. Okay, good mix there from Lefty. 
Yeah, that's kind of like the mango bait where you look like you're about to go onto the platform but drop through anyways, and that time even cooler because they went to the ledge instead. Alright, good tech chase there. I've been seeing that a lot more often where people go just jab one as to where they think someone's gonna tech two, and it allows them a little bit of time to react uh, if the opponent picked a different option as well. Oh, but up tilt. We'll finally seal it off the top. And like I was saying before, we have a game five now. Alright, back at it again here. We have a small battlefield on Lone's counter pick. And definitely some more confident play that we're seeing here from Lefty Logic. Now, but at the same time, Lone maybe just obviously checking himself and saying, hey, maybe it wasn't time to pull out the Young Link earlier and let Lefty Logic run away with some momentum. Uh, but at the same time, the last game was pretty much lost to that SD, and uh, Lefty Logic kind of ran away with it. Um, pace wise, too, it's just so tough. Uh, when you SD within like the first five seconds like that, but uh, not gonna get a Nair train there for Pikachu, but uh, Lefty Logic once again in that position of getting the ledge trap and yeah, just chip damage after chip damage from these situations has been so good for Lefty. Relatively even start still, this is looking more reminiscent of game one at this point. Alright, well, first stock being taken. Unfortunately, offstage once again for Lone. Okay, let's have an opportunity. Alright, rapid jabbing a little bit there. Lone having to work from disadvantage though, and I feel like strengths for Lefty Logic is obviously the ledge trapping and then uh, playing relatively patient too, so spaces very confidently. Um, so in the advantage state like this, forcing Lone in, I mean even though Pikachu, oh my gosh that tech chase was beautiful by Lone, uh, back to an even game there, but uh, as I was saying, uh, Pikachu have to approach, I mean it has some very safe tools and again getting the back air train, SDI in on, for Lefty Logic, but Lone reacts and just continues to tack on the damage and we're back to an even match. Oh my gosh, that almost should have broke. Terrifying. If Lefty had done... Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, if Lefty Logic had done the down version uh, ender for the side special, that definitely would have broke the shield, but ends up getting a, a very early stock taken anyways uh, with that up special uh, spike. Uh, but really not too far to work back from for Lone. Oh, definitely could have had a hard punish on that. Obviously throwing out these F smashes. Because it's not... It, it's pretty safe. Uh, in the corner like that. Um, terrified. Okay. Okay, interrupts the up special with the quick attack. That was interesting. And Lefty just continuing the space with the sword. Also, just tilt coming out. Oh, gonna interrupt. <laughs> if he did the, the thunder to the thunder, I think it would have worked, but obviously it's a pretty high risk situation. Uh, would have been very saucy though. Oh, goes. I'm gonna call out the Papa Frank. He does like the side special kind of. Oh, jeez. Uh, bait there off stage, they can get it back here with Chrom uh, to cover people trying to get back to the ledge, but uh, Lefty Logic barely missing on that. Oh, once again, setting up off stage. And up throw, or fort, yeah, fort, up throw wasn't going to take it just yet. Oh, Lone did such a good job of tracking in that situation, just barely missed the trigger uh, to seal out the stock and make it a one stock apiece game. But yeah, one strong tilt there from Chrom, and uh, that's going to finish it out with a 3 2 win for Lefty Logic over Lone. You're good. Yeah. 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 Everyone's calling me like an A5, it's quick forever. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, we can just hear them. Like, or, 